when you reject the narcissist Hoover. Maybe the narcissist discarded you or you discarded them and then they try to come back again they hoover you but you've decided that you don't want to deal with them anymore when you decide that you're finally done with the narcissist they will take it as rejection and they hate rejection because they want to be accepted they want to be seen as something special and important they want to be admired they feel entitled to it regardless of how they treat you they need supply and they believe that you exist to serve them they want to be superior they always have to be right and they have assigned this role to you to prop them up but you weren't put on this earth to be the cameo in someone else's movie which is why it was such a miserable experience for you because it's unnatural they insult you they put you down every conversation you have with them becomes a debate they always reject your proposals and ideas so in the end you decide to reject them when you reject the narcissist Hoover you need to remember why you're doing it you need to remember what is best for you because they're never going to self reflect they're not going to look at everything they've done to you when people reject the narcissist it's usually a last resort it's a final course of action when everything else has failed you might want to sit down with them and talk about what works for you and what doesn't work for you but you know they're not going to do that you know they're not going to look at what they're doing they will be shocked that you even dared confront them they will blame you as though it's wrong for you to even dare to question them because everything is supposed to go their way but when you decide that you don't want to follow their agenda anymore they have a hard time accepting it they're afraid of rejection it causes a narcissistic injury it makes them very angry because they feel like you are trying to hurt them when you reject their hoover attempt it is a serious threat to a narcissist because it may often leave them without supply so it will make them very angry
it will make them want to punish you. But in their minds, they're just protecting themselves. They will try to rationalize why what you're doing is wrong and why you should listen to them. They will justify all of their narcissistic behaviors but it just reminds you why you need to get away from them because they just can't accept what they're doing wrong. When you reject the narcissist Hoover, they will ridicule you. They will subject you to contentious and dismissive language or behavior they will provoke and challenge you with insulting remarks. They will be very sarcastic. If you bring up any of their faults, they will make false accusations against you. They will criticize you. They will bring up things from the past. When you reject the narcissist Hoover, there's nothing you can tell them. They're not even listening to you. It's not going to make them reflect on themselves and realize there's some things they need to change. They're never going to think that way. When you reject their hoover, they will change very quickly. They will treat you like you're nothing. But they're not going to accept that you don't want anything to do with them. Sometimes they may even stalk you or they will want to know what you're doing or where you're going. They may start a smear campaign. When you reject the narcissist Hoover, they will put you through hell. I'm not saying that you shouldn't reject their attempts to come back, but you need to be aware of what may happen because they don't know how to move on. They don't want to take responsibility. They're not going to hold themselves accountable for their actions, which means that they're never going to change. They don't care about what you're going through. They're not going to be vulnerable with you. When you reject their hoover, it makes them feel vulnerable, but that's what makes them so angry because then they just go into that mode of what they think is them just trying to protect themselves because they're afraid of vulnerability. They're shame-based people who are doing everything they can to avoid reflecting on their shame. So of course, they will project that shame onto you. When you reject the narcissist Hoover, you need to understand what the narcissist is capable of because many of these things may come at you. But don't waste your time trying to get the narcissist to understand they're not going to hear your side of the story. They're never going to listen to you. Remind yourself why you need, need to reject them. Remind yourself that you don't deserve to be treated like that. You deserve better. And you know that you can do better. You know there's more to your life than just being their source of supply. You don't want to be that emotional punching bag anymore. The narcissist may keep hoovering you because they think you're under their control. Because they've assigned you to this role of serving them. 
but you can choose to not serve them anymore. Thank you for watching. I hope this video resonated with you. Please like, comment, share and subscribe. If you would like to donate, my PayPal link is in the video description. Coaching inquiries, you can email me at coaching at narcsurvivor.co.uk. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you soon.